A Sacramento historian says a Purple Heart vanished in the mail last year, and despite knowing who had it, he could not get it back. He called on CBS 13's Curtis Ming to investigate. Yeah, guys, we shared the story with you back in November, and now we have an update. This is my passion. John Mercurio collects Purple Hearts awarded to World War II heroes who died in combat. Purple Hearts tell a story. They tell a story of sacrifice. Tens of thousands of military medals are thought to be lost, stolen, or just forgotten about. Some showing up at estate sales, thrift shops, or for sale online. John finds them, researches the heroes who earn them, and then publishes their stories on social media. This particular medal was awarded to Private Ira Fortner, injured during a battle in Italy. But the Purple Heart John bought off eBay didn't quite fit his collection and almost all of them are from soldiers who were killed in action. It just didn't mesh with what I have. But his friend in Iowa also collects Purple Hearts, so he mailed it to him. But this is all that arrived, an empty flat package, stamped, received without contents. So what happened to the medal? That answer would come in an internet search two months later. In this article, a sheriff in West Virginia turned over the Purple Heart to the local American Legion, saying it was lost in the mail for a very long time. The American Legion is a service organization and works to return found military medals to surviving family members. But the chapter in West Virginia says the family of this particular soldier had no interest in getting it back. You know, I'd like the medal returned. But John, a retired Sacramento Sheriff's deputy, says the sheriff in West Virginia nor the American Legion will return it to him or his friend. I'm disgusted, honestly. I, I'm really disgusted. It got us wondering about the trade of military medals. We learned Congress made it a crime to sell a Purple Heart under the Stolen Valor Act of 2005. But the Supreme Court overturned that in 2012, meaning it is perfectly legal to buy and sell Purple Hearts. That's a real tragedy. Colonel Russ Vernon with the National Purple Heart Honor Mission says Purple Hearts should stay with the family and do not belong in personal collections. Medals are earned by recipients and they're not to be bought and sold. If no family can be found, he thinks the medal should end up with a military organization. His nonprofit displays orphan medals at the Purple Heart Hall of Honor in New York. <laughs> Everyone here wants to honor the medal, representing Private Ira Fortner's courage. They just have different ideas on how to do it. We even tried finding living relatives of Private Ira Fortner. His only son has died. It took some time, but after we started investigating and shared John's mission, the American Legion mailed the medal to John's friend. It, it took several months, but yes, I'm glad it's, it's uh, resolved. John says he has collected four or five more Purple Hearts since we spoke with him, all for soldiers killed in action, all stories of valor and sacrifice he plans to research and share. And by the way, he has posted the story about Ira Fortner. Have something you want me to investigate? Let me know. Go to CBS13.com slash call Curtis and fill out our form.